Today I'm going to be reading out of Luke 17. This is the story of the ten lepers. We'll start in verse 11. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. Truly an amazing story. Now, it says that the lepers stood afar off. There's a reason for this. This was normal for these lepers to keep distance between them and society. In fact, Jewish law prohibited anyone with such a disease from associating with the general community. This is why scripture says they lifted up their voices. They had to in order to make their requests known unto Jesus. By law, they could not come near. Scripture tells us that Jesus saw them. Now, Jesus healed different people throughout the Gospel accounts, and he used many different methods when he healed. But in this case, he simply spoke to them and told them to go show themselves to the priests. He didn't touch them. He didn't lay hands on them. He didn't even address their disease. He just simply told them, Go to the priests and show yourselves. Now you want to talk about power. This was quite a display. Now the ten lepers, they, they went their way to do as Jesus instructed. I often wonder what they were thinking. Maybe they thought, well, we'll get this healing. You know, it'll happen when we get to be, you know, right in front of the priests. But amazingly, this healing manifested when they began to walk. Now, this must have been absolutely incredible. Here were ten lepers outcasts of society living with a skin disease which was slowly killing them by rotting their skin and disfiguring their bodies to include their faces their hands their feet and these ten they felt and experienced something that very few people ever experienced in broad daylight they felt and they watched their arms, their legs, their fingers, their toes, their face, their chest, their back, everything. Everything became whole and healed. Now for all ten, this had to have been an absolute dream manifesting in real time. To go from the state of hideous disfigurement and being an outcast in society to becoming completely whole in a manner of seconds or minutes. This truly must have been, well, something again that they dreamed of for a very long time. 
But let's bring this back to Jesus. I have to imagine that Jesus was watching this all, of course. The disciples were there, and probably many others were also watching all of this unfold. Watching these ten as they began to look down at their legs and their arms and then touching their faces. They may have looked at each other, you know, to confirm their friends restorations also. There was probably great celebration while all ten laughed and celebrated their own and their friends healing. And Jesus is watching. Jesus is watching. And then it happens. While they continue walking, there's one. There's one that stopped. The other nine, while they keep walking, what's happening? The one has stopped. There may have been a visual of him crying. Now this isn't in scripture, I'm just speculating. Because maybe this one clearly was moved enough to have him stop. And he turns back and scripture tells us that he cried with a loud voice and he glorified God. Now this one was overwhelmed. He had to have been. He was publicly and loudly glorifying God for what he had just received. And Jesus is still watching. Now this one, he makes it back. He makes it back all the way to Jesus Christ. And he falls on his face before the feet of our Messiah. And he gives thanks to Jesus for this incredible gift which he just received freely. Imagine how this man felt. Though the other nine walked on, this one, he simply couldn't. He consciously separated himself from the others and with a brand new clean body, he boldly and safely walked right up to Jesus and fell at this healer's feet with humble gratitude. Gratitude. Now scripture doesn't get details, but I have to imagine there was some serious emotion involved for this man. To live in such loneliness and pain, and then to receive this gift of healing, he couldn't leave the Lord's presence without thanking him. He couldn't give anything to Jesus, and we know Jesus wasn't looking for that. He couldn't give him anything except for one thing, gratitude. It's an amazing story. What an amazing Lord we have. Now, we never heard from the other nine. Jesus did ask this man, were there not ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? And though I'm sure Jesus was pleased with this one for returning, you can almost hear Jesus' amazement as he said, There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. This account leaves the reader with mixed emotions. On one hand, we love the one for his return with gratitude, but we're overwhelmingly sad at the nine who had no gratitude, or at least that we know of. Now, I can't speak for you, but I know that there has been so many times in my life, so many times, when I find myself more like the nine. I don't give God the glory that he so richly deserves and is worthy of. And I feel the shame. 
I take so much for granted in my life. My prayer is, please God, give me a heart of gratitude. Let me praise your name night and day. Let me glorify you always and give thanks for all that you do and all that you are. Let us never forget what Jesus did for us and let us never forget for what he does for us in all of our lives. God help me never to forget. Jesus is watching. 